friends. Welcome back to the Holiday Shop. This is a great opportunity for me to introduce wonderful Creative Dynamic Catholics to you just in time for gift giving season. And today I have Katrina Snyder with me from the Catholic Handle Company. Welcome, Katrina. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. And those of my subscribers that were with me over the summer, remember Katrina came and visited us in July. It's hard to believe that was July. And here we are, the end of October, Katrina. Yeah. It was a, lot, a while ago. The, the winds weren't quite as chilly. And there was heavy frost this morning here. And uh, so we're kind of getting those sweaters ready and um, getting geared up for holiday season. So we're really appreciative of you coming to show us your beautiful candles. Now I want everybody to know that the go-to for you, for your business, the Catholic Candle Company, I will put it below too. I do have burning the wonderful candle, the Assumption candle. So please, Anyone out there, go to her site, mm -hmm. and this is the beautiful candle, the Assumption candle. And Katrina, I just want you to know that I have already put the word out, and you probably got the order from my family, that um, I had requested two new candles to me, the Advent Wreath candle and the Octave of Christmas. So I said to them, I would love it if I had this Christmas present early. So um, you probably are in the midst of doing that order. So I can't wait to receive those two candles. So Katrina, can you tell us um, a little bit about your Christmas candles? Because that's really the focus of this holiday shop. There's so many different candles that you have throughout the yes. whole season. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but the Christmas specials, what candles do you have for us for this holiday time? Yeah, so I have six that are uh, specific to the holiday season, the Christmas and the holiday season. So uh, I'll start with the first one, um, Advent Wreath. This is Advent. And this smells like... Um, Juniper berries and evergreen is one of my personal favorites. Um, so it's inspired after uh, the wreaths that are put around the candles um, that during, I know we have, we have a sort of a fake one, but you know, I've seen much more elaborate ones during, you know, have the advent candles, you have the wreaths mm. around that. So, and then after that, let's see, I have, since you mentioned the octave of Christmas, whoop, not that one, not this one, there we go. Octave of Christmas. So this smells like a Christmas cookie. And this one is perfect for burning when you want to disappoint your family when they smell it and they go, oh, you're baking cookies. No, it's just a candle. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so. That's wonderful. That's I'm happened not... at our house. <laughs> yeah. That's always so nice. You're having someone over and you just want that nice, home, cozy smell of yeah. fresh baked Big cookies and I why I picked that one out Katrina because I thought what a neat combination it's the buttery cookie mm -hmm. but you have that hint of peppermint yeah it's a very small it's not very peppermint it's just a very mm -hmm. small hint of, of peppermint but definitely like a buttery sort of Christmas cookie scent um and it's a uh, noctive for Christmas being the eight days after Christmas and I know in our family that's that's the time the the gorge on Christmas cookies <laughs> and all the all the delicious Christmas treats. All right, and then uh, let's see. After that, we got Saint Nicholas, whose feast day comes in the beginning of December. So this one's called Saint Nicholas Worker of Wonders. That's one of his wonder worker is one of his titles. He has lots of different titles, and this one is uh, scented Christmas hearth. So I know when I um, and I smell it. It, it kind of reminds me of just sort of sitting by the fire after midnight mass on Christmas Eve. And, you know, you, for us, um, 
what one of our traditions is that once all the kids are in bed, like my husband and I will get like a cheese plate out and like some wine and, you know, be like around midnight or one o'clock or whatever. And uh, we'll have the lights on off except for the Christmas tree, they have the Christmas tree lights. And then, um, so it just sort of reminds me of just sitting by, sitting by a fireplace and having the tree and the lights and the wine and just that sort of, um, Know, that's, that's sort of atmosphere because it has some it has some evergreen sort of sense to it like uh like the christmas tree but also has sort of some sort of like um a little bit of smokiness but also it definitely smells like christmas <laughs> it's one of those candles where you just smell it and you're like that's oh, christmas um so anyway so christmas heart and also you know sort of a play on the fact that saint nicholas and santa claus you know going down the chimney so <laughs> sort of i love like, your creativity when you're coming up with designing the sense and everyone if you really want to know even deeper how katrina goes about the candle making process i'll link below the get to know video that she did over the summer with me because that was really really informative as far as you know she has a vigorous testing process with the candles mm -hmm. and um it isn't just like throwing a little fragrance oil in there to to make a scent so she really studies she really takes so much time to not only make each candle meaningful for that particular saint or that occasion but it's really tying in the faith and also making it perfectly safe and that's why some of her candles take some time in order before it's on her website yeah so that's um that'll tie into uh my new chrism candle well which i'll show after i get done with the uh the christmas ones but yeah it's it absolutely takes time and i do put them through a testing process i follow um the recommendations from the national candle association as far as like um temperatures of the jar and, and stuff like that because you know i want to make you know I, I feel obligated to make the safest candle that i can you know because i'm i'm selling them and so that's yeah so it's definitely definitely a rigorous for testing product uh testing time um and also like the fragrance oils i use are you know, phthalate free that all the ingredients are perfectly safe to be burned in candles um I, like i said in my last interview I, i'm not the type of person that you know just says, oh, that smells nice and dump it in wax. I mean, no, so it, it all has to, and we'll, I can circle back to the chrism, talk a little bit more about that. Um, yeah, okay, so, <laughs> yeah. And oh, oh, as far as um, the scents, as far as pairing the scents with the saints, uh, yeah, that, that's that's one of my most favorite parts about um, doing this and this company is just and thinking and praying about, you know, okay, what would, you know, what would make sense here or what what would be, you know, I, I don't know, it just, it's sort of, just sort of comes to me, and it's just, that creative process is, is definitely one of my most uh, favorite parts. Um, and I want everybody to know that Katrina hand pours with prayer Yes. every candle. She says, yes. first she goes to adoration weekly and prays for you, prays for her customers, prays for yeah. anyone with intention. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so, um, that's beautiful. It's one of the things that I really loved about your business and i just feel like i want everybody to know that you know when you're giving that gift of one of your candles that it is extra special because it was made with love and with obvious very very um creativeness but also with the faith and with intention so it's beautiful thank you yeah hand poured with prayer and um a portion of every sale goes to pro-life causes so that's also a, a big part of mm -hmm. the company's mission is giving a portion um to pro-life um i think this quarter is uh the sisters of life i'm going to give the, a portion to um last quarter it was a uh, birth choice in raleigh in their <clears throat> a crisis pregnancy um clinic so they, they help women in crisis pregnancies. They get free ultrasounds. And so, uh, Beautiful. Yeah, so a portion of every every uh, sale goes to pro-life causes. 
And right. if you're interested, on Katrina's website, you can go to a, a link that will show you those organizations that she has donated to and worked with. So um, yep. it's beautiful. Yep. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so uh, moving on. So another Christmas candle I have is St. Wenceslaus. Mm. So this is scented mulled wine um, based on uh, one of the stanzas in, in the hymn, uh, Good King Wenceslas, he talks about, you know, bring me wine and bring me meat. And I don't, I haven't memorized all of it. So, uh, so that's why it doesn't send the mule to wine. This is also the candle that when I was testing it, I, one of my children smelled it and they were just like, oh, it smells like Mimi's house because it's so Christmassy. Mm -hmm. It's got, you know, with the, the wall sale kind of mule wine kind of Christmas scent and so I thought that was high praise for my mom that her house always smells like Christmas. <laughs> so. Yes oh what a what a wonderful aroma you know to have where your child could think about that and make the connection. Yes. <laughs> yeah yeah always you incorporated that into that candle because you know I love I love that's one of the reasons why I put in my request for your advent wreath because I love the evergreen smell. And I used to always have live trees at Christmas. I always cut down our own trees and we we always had a live tree, but um, we haven't in the last couple of years. So I love bringing that scent in. And, and I have to say that Katrina's candle, the fragrance is, is so pure. It, some fragrances, it's almost a manufactured, replica or imitation and your your fragrances are very very pure oh thank you yeah i um the fragrance oils that that i use are from different sources and so i do try to um you know i get samples before and it's just i try to get what i think will be best for for the candle for the wax that i use and the company and all that so thank you you're welcome all right so next i've got one of my um personal favorites <laughs> St. Boniface and the Christmas tree. So this smells like Christmas tree. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And so I don't know if you're you're aware of the story of St. Boniface and the Christmas tree. Or, Can you, you tell know, us? Share yeah, that so, with us, Katrina. So I'll, I'll put the picture up. So, so the story goes that um, way back when there were some pagans in Germany and they worshipped a huge oak tree that um, was dedicated to Thor or Odin, one of those. And it was a sacred tree to them. So they would sacrifice uh, to that tree and it was forbidden to touch the tree. And it, you know, it was, it was a sacred tree. So St. Boniface comes around and he takes his ax and he chops down the tree with, with one swoop of his ax um, to show the might and the power of God. And, and all the pagans were, were surprised and, and just, you know, because he, he cut down the sacred tree, they, they thought he would die on the spot, but obviously, you know, fake gods, that didn't happen. And so behind the this oak tree, the sacred oak tree, uh, was a fir tree, like a pine tree. And so St. Boniface then started um, to evangelize them and say, you know, this this evergreen, this fir tree is is a symbol of Christ because it's, it's everlasting, you know, it's always green and it's always fresh. And so that's one of the... Um, it's one of the stories on how we got the Christmas tree in, like into our homes. Um, Beautiful. I bet your children love to hear that story. They, <laughs> they know that story and they love to just have it retold. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. That's just, and I know this is sort of, it's actually one of my most popular candles. And I think part of it is because it's so uh, unique. <laughs> it's mm. just, I don't know, just nothing, nothing fills me so much with the holiday cheer as pictures of pagans running away in fear and panic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you I buy just, this one, you, you will always have that remembrance yeah. of St. Boniface and the Christmas tree. I love the artwork that you choose to yes. put on the lids of your candles. Yeah, this is a public domain um, one. I've forgotten who painted it, mm -hmm. but it's public domain. You can find it online, and, mm -hmm. and I just cropped it and then fiddled with it to make Very it fit. 
Um, mm. but yeah. <laughs> mm, very nice. All right. And then the last Christmas one I have um, is We Three Kings. We're getting into the epiphany now. And this is frankincense, myrrh, rosemary, and sage. So it's, it has a very, um, it's also one of my best sellers. It's not, so it's not just frankincense and myrrh. It has a, has a very, it has a crisper sort of a scent and uh, like sort of refreshing, but because it also has a frankincense and myrrh, it's sort of, it's a, it's a unique scent. I like it. It's, it's, uh, it's one of my, um, it's one of my favorites to burn. It's, it's definitely a, a customer favorite. Mm. Um, but is it, yeah, a, so is it almost an incense sort of a smell? No, because no, of the frank, yeah, because of the okay. rosemary and sage. Um, but mm -hmm. it's not, it's not just rosemary and sage, though. It has that frankincense and myrrh, so it's sort of mm -hmm. like both, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's it's a nice scent. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So so that was you know obviously inspired by you know the fact that they gave frankincense and myrrh. But I was I was thinking, um, I don't know. I was thinking how exotic, um. It, it must have been to have those uh, three magi come into, you know, you know, a place like Bethlehem and how um, I wanted to give sort of a homage to, to that differentness, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I put in the rosemary and sage because it's, it's, uh, and it, 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 yeah, like I said, it's more of like a, a crisp sort of refreshing, but also with the frankincense and myrrh. So them. So yeah, so that's that's definitely a now you also have Katrina the uh, the wax melt yes. too, and you have it in that particular scent. We three kings. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the wax melts? That there it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I have I have wax melts for a lot of my candles, not all of them, but I do have a wax melt version for all of the Christmas scents. So all, all six candles that, that I just showed now, I also have a wax melt for. Um, mm, so that's beautiful, the benefit. beautiful. And so, uh, yeah, so the wax melts are $5 each. If you buy six of the same, they're $19.95, but I also have a variety pack that has all six. Um, so one of each mm. wax melt version of these candles, and that's also for $19.95. So they make Please. great stocking stuffers. Um, yeah, so, uh, yes. Perfect. So everyone, wouldn't these make fantastic gifts? As you see, they're very unique. You're not going to be able to just walk into any store and find candles, wax melts of this quality and specific to our faith. And so this is such a unique gift. It is, so yeah. I would suggest anyone out there watching to to shop early, number one, because that's the thing that we're all hearing about maybe the delays or so can you give us an idea, Katrina, about kind of the turnaround time and what you're expecting for the processing and the packaging and the shipment of anybody out there that's going to be buying your products so yeah, uh the turnaround time is i'll have it shipped out between uh three to seven business business days um from the order um i i did lay in some supplies so i don't anticipate running out so much um like i got like a big pallet of supplies mm -hmm. um but it's just uh it's it's, it's the time to actually make the candles i i make them um make them a bunch at a time but even then you know I, I sell candles so they sell out and so then I have to make more um and that I have five kids 10 and under so that's why it's three to seven business days because sometimes I I just don't I gotta find the time to, to make more candles um amazing you so, yeah. are amazing all of the wonderful women that I have met who are just amazing, creative, but dynamic because they have families. A lot of uh, Catholic moms out there that are business women that are finding time when their baby's asleep or, you know, at those, at those odd hours when everybody else is asleep, you're busy. So God bless you. Because, <laughs> you know, you. That is amazing. That's how much you, you know, really are passionate about what you're doing to be extending yourself because it is a, it is 
you know, a sacrifice many times of, of just the other things that you could do with your spare time. But um, with such a blessing for all of us. Oh, thank you. And I really enjoy it too. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I was, I was just about to say, I, I really enjoy it as well. Oh, good, good, wonderful. And also, um, now you have a pick four for $25. Yes. Yes. So all of my candles, if you buy for the same, um, it's 25, but this, this one is, um, pick four different ones for 25. Uh, and yeah, that's on, that's on my website and it's just, um, four of, yeah. So just four so different ones. So it's like a variety pack if, if you want. And, um, I don't have all the candles on there and they kind of change depending on, on what, I have available and what's going on. Um, but the vast majority of my candles are, are an option for that. Oh, yes. good. Okay. So if anybody would maybe want to pick and choose the Christmas mm -hmm. candles in the pick four, would they be able to do that or? Yeah, they'll be able to do that all year round. Um, the Christmas, mm -hmm. so the Christmas candles are on sale now for 625. So 625 times four is, is 25. So that's, that's like the same sale. So uh, the reason usually, so I have autumn, so my, hello, backtrack, my sales um, change with each quarter. So each season, they'll change depending on the St. Feast days and um, the seasons of the year and what type of scents would go well with that. Uh, so right now being an autumn, I have a lot of autumn scents on sale. Uh, that, those sales will end um, by the end of November. But the Christmas ones I usually don't put on sale until mid-November, but because of all the rumors about supply shortages and USPS, I was just like, forget it. And so I put them all on sale, I think like a month ago or some early October. So all the Christmas scents, all the Christmas sandals, candles, those are going to be on sale until the end of Christmas, which will be Candlemas. So even after mm -hmm. December 25th, if you know, you, you got a little pocket money for Christmas and you want to buy, you know, a Christmas candle and, you know, in middle of January, they'll, they'll still be on sale. They'll still be on sale like that. Terrific. So reasonably priced. If anybody out there looks for candles to find a good quality candle like yours for yeah. $6.25, even $7, which is the regular price. Uh, uh, some are seven, some eight. are eight. Right. Uh, yeah, so summer seven, summer eight. Yeah, that's a regular price. So, but the sale price is six point five. Terrific. And out there, just so that you know, and it's on your website, that with a purchase of thirty five dollars or more, you can use the coupon code free shipping mm -hmm. to get free shipping. So that's that's wonderful. And Katrina said that that is something that she does year round. Yeah. Yeah, and it's right, it's right there on, on the front page and it's also on all the candle pages as well. Um, yeah, so it just if it's 30, if you purchase $35 or more and then you type in free shipping the coupon code as, as when you check out, that will take off. And then um, it's $5 flat rate shipping for everything else. Hmm. Wonderful, yeah. beautiful. So, I do have, I do have one more candle. I like oh, the- Oh, good. No I was just gonna off. ask if there's anything else. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're talking about how, how the candles make, you know, good gifts and they make personal gifts. I have a, I have a lot of candles. I'm continually adding new candles, um, to continually testing and adding new ones. Uh, so that's also one of the things that are nice is that if you know, if you have a friend or you know someone that you want to give a gift to and they have a particular devotion to a particular saint, um, mm -hmm. there, there's a chance that I have it, a candle, you know, like St. Tres of the Jew, you know, is scented rose bouquet in my, um, in my shop. And I know a lot of people have a devotion to her. Um, so that also makes a very nice, meaningful gift as well. So, but um, okay, so the one I wanted to showcase is chrism. So this is the candle that smells just like chrism. Um, mm. And it is, I just launched it about a month ago, and it's it's been selling out so fast. Um, so that's another thing I want to put, put out there is that I have I have, I have a lot of chrism fragrance oil, so, so if you see it sold out, it isn't so much that 
Um, I don't have any supplies. It's more like I don't have the time to make them at the moment. So, you know, come back a week later and then, you know, they'll, they'll probably be more up on my website. Um, but yeah, that's, this is really that's really wonderful. I'm so happy for you because yeah. I think that's beautiful. Sure. I mean, you're, you're not going to be discontinued. It's not as, oh, supplies last and then no, it, it's, it's still going to be available. This yeah. Is I mean, yeah, I, it just, I, I, yeah. So the Chrism one, um, you know, you're talking about the testing and the fragrance oil, this one, this one took me like six months to mm. figure out as mm -hmm. far as like the wicking and the fragrance oil and getting, getting everything just right. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy with it. And it like, it smells just like Chrism. And it's, this one is also on sale for until the end of the year, because I just launched it and I just want to make it on sale to the end of the year. So this is also 625. So um, definitely check that out. It smells just like Chrism and this is, is a great candle. Um, very beautiful. And it's super, super popular. <laughs> beautiful. And just as Katrina has under the description of this candle used in the sacrament of baptism and confirmation, Chrism is a complex and beautiful fragrance. Mm -hmm. So it really is so unique and so wonderful. So remember to stock up. And when Katrina was here the last time, she said so many of her customers buy a maybe 12 at a time and keep it in their gift closet. Yeah. So that's what, just to pull out, you're looking for something, you know, to give to somebody. It's a, uh, invited over and just to be able to bring this quality candle I just can't wait and I'm going to do a video and be posting so watch out on my Instagram page and Facebook when I receive the newest candles that I'll be getting from you but um, I highly recommend it I've been burning this one and it's burned so nicely the fragrance is just so nice and light and but but it just surrounds it just surrounds your home and of course we always be safe we're always yes. safe with our candle <laughs> and um but um i just it's time tested with me katrina and um i just highly recommend because i i've as a as somebody who loves candles there's so many times that i just light it once and then the wick disappears i don't know where it is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. i dig it out and i i ruin the wax and so this does not happen with your candle oh thank you yeah uh yeah and also i mean one of the nice things is that um with with pairing scents with saints it provides an olfactory reminder so i know we talked about this in the summer but there'll be times i'm i'm burning a particular candle with a particular saint let's say saint john bosco that's cinnamon and vanilla um you know and i'll just i'll be you know doing stuff out my day and then like i'll get that waft of scent and be like oh yeah that's nice and then i'll be like oh yeah that's the saint john bosco and then be like oh saint john bosco pray for us you know just a you know just a quick mm. reminder um so they can, they're great to be used like during prayer, but also, um, like I said, in the summer, uh, I, I know some people, they'll, they'll start burning it, you know, morning prayer or their rosary, and then they'll just keep burning it because it smells so nice, you know, and just like, even after they pray, then it's sort of like, it morphs into just, you know, like a regular scented candle. So that's, that's part of um, what I want to do with my business. I wanted to combine the joy and the comfort of the Catholic faith with the joy and the comfort of a scented candle. Um, mm -hmm. And it does so beautifully. And I'm just thinking as, as we're talking, what a great gift it would be. And you know, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, what a voracious reader I am. I'm always reading and promoting books and good books. And um, I think it just would be so fitting. Katrina has a wonderful candle four different saints as she's shown us and as we know that yesterday was the feast of saint john paul ii mm -hmm. and she has a wonderful candle i love the name of that candle katrina <laughs> 
So I'm not sure if you've seen the meme. Have you seen the meme that candle was based off of? I have not. Okay. So, so the candle is called not quite as cool as John Paul II. So there's a meme out there and it's him holding a koala. And there's like lots of pictures of him holding a koala. Mm -hmm. And the meme says, you might be cool, but you're not John Paul II holding a koala cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. I have seen that picture of him holding the, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that, so there's, there's a little meme that goes with that. And so that's why that candle is called not quite as cool as John Paul II. Because I might be cool, but I'm not that as cool as John Paul. <laughs> and that one's since a cucumber melon, because that's just a, a nice, you know, very popular all-round mm -hmm. scent for, I thought it'd be great for a very popular all-round saint. So, <laughs> yes. Perfect. I could see giving your candle, that candle, or any of the saints' candles. Here's a little suggestion, everyone. A beautiful candle, one of Katrina's candles, and maybe a beautiful book that goes along with that saint. You know, uh, a book, St. John Paul wrote many, many wonderful books oh, yeah. or a yep. book about him or any of the saints. What a perfect gift to wrap those two things up. Mm -hmm. So as you're reading that book, you you light the candle for that particular saint. Isn't that, I, I mean, I can just That's imagine. Nice, right? That's a nice image. I like that. You know, just like after a nice long day, just relaxing on a chair, you got a mm -hmm. scented candle and you, you know, you're reading the book and mm -hmm. maybe you got like a little snack or something. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. the candles, they're, um, they're small enough and they're affordable enough that they make great additions to gift baskets. So if you're the type of person, I'm kind of lazy, but if you're the type of person that likes to make the, the gift baskets um, that are like themed and stuff like that, these candles are perfect for that. Perfect. And the wax balls, yeah. And let's not forget out there that Katrina has a monthly subscription box as yes. well. That is wonderful. Put that on your list. If yeah. Somebody's saying, what would you like for Christmas? Wow. To receive this beautiful box every month. And Katrina could talk a little bit about that if she sure. had time. Yeah. Um, so the box is once a month, you get a candle, um, a holy card that relates to that candle, and then um, just a sticker. But it's one of those like nice vinyl um uh, professional sort of really nice stickers so uh, like I, I know I put those stickers on my car um, in water bottles I put a bunch mm -hmm. on my kids water bottles um, and you know they, they've been uh, lasting very well on that and so each each month is and each candle relates to something that happened that month so in August for example um, I sent out the assumption and the holy card the assumption on in September uh, it was Saint Michael the Archangel, which is since it smoked leather in the Saint Michael um, the holy card. And then last month October was All Hallows Eve, which is a uh, pumpkin. It's um, bonfires and spiced pumpkin. It's very definitely a very autumn fall type of candle. Um, and because uh, you know, October 31st is, is All Hallows Eve. It's, it's Halloween. It's the vigil of all saints. And so then I had um, the, the holy card for that was Anima Christi. Um, mm -hmm. the, the sticker was um, a quote from, I've forgotten the saint, but it said, uh, every, every saint is a sinner that just keeps trying. So mm, I love that. Oh, uh, Saint Jose Escobar, I think I do. Mm. Yeah. So, um, so this month coming up in um, November, I'm going to be sending out the Advent wreath um, and an Advent uh, holy card um, and, a, and a nice sticker with that. And so that's that's a good gift because they're you know the candles are consumable, so they don't you know they don't just take up a bunch of dust or or something like that. Because mm. some people you know a bit more minimalist like that. Um, and so they're consumable and you get a new one each month and the holy card and the stickers are, it, it's good for like what, like the type of person that you're not sure what to give, you know, because they've got exactly. everything or they and buy what right. they want anyways. I think too, it's the gift that keeps on giving mm -hmm. all the way throughout the year. Yeah. Yeah. And a portion of every one of those sales is also donated to pro-life colleges. 
Beautiful. So, so everything I sell through the company is, is a portion is donated to pro-life causes. So beautiful. And I really encourage everyone, which I will link below, to, to go ahead and check out that video, get to know Katrina, because she goes into detail a lot, not a little, but about her personal life, but also just her commitment to the pro-life. And um, I just found it was so interesting that I knew I had to have you back. Oh, thank you. Holiday season, because um, I was just so impressed and um, so grateful for you to join us for the holiday shop. And remember everyone, I will link Katrina's, all of her information, her website, her Facebook page, her Instagram page, um, so that you can go to her sites, visit her, follow her, and uh, purchase her wonderful products. So I was gonna ask one question as we get to the end of our time together, what things do you like most about the holidays? What are you looking forward to that Advent and Christmas is coming? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's so much to love about, about the holiday season. Um, it's it's kind of hard to just pick one. Um, yeah, but definitely we, we go as a family to see the Christmas lights. Um, there's mm -hmm. a there's one of those places where you pay and you drive through and they have all the huge lights and so we do that. Um, the uh, Christmas Eve service, um, really enjoy that as well. Um, Advent and um, uh, Gaudate Sunday with the, the pink vestments, um, the Christmas music especially. Um, oh, I have a I have a CD that's um, I think like a Renaissance Christmas music yeah. and it's I always play, play that during during Advent and Christmas, and also Handel's Messiah. Um, it's, it's one of those CDs I, I keep just for like the, this particular season. Um, so looking forward to that. Looking forward to the food. Uh, yes. It's great food. Um, this is the only time of the year that I make uh, and eat potato candy, which is, I don't know if you've heard of that. It's a very Southern. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's sort of acquired taste, but my kids love it. It's, uh, you take a potato and you boil it down forever and then you add powdered sugar and then you roll that out a powdered sugar until it's like a dough then you roll it out then you put peanut butter one of my sons is oh. allergic to peanut butter so i put some butter on it and then um anyways that's potato it's it's very oh. regionally southern anyways but that's the only oh. time of year that i make it and i've always eaten that all throughout um, my life really my grandmother used to make it for me and give it to me every christmas and then you know she passed and i started making it on my own um, that's so beautiful that is you know and I'm sure your kids love it like you said yeah. they look forward to it it's passing down those traditions and yeah. that's the thing that they're going to remember we can all remember those things the food the just the sights and the smells and the love and of course you know those special times that we put our our nativity sets and um you know, and as children, just making them feel a part of the whole Christmas season. Yeah, so okay. that's... Look forward to that with your children. Yeah, that's another thing that we like to do. Like, we, we'll put up the nativity set, but we won't put in baby Jesus until, you know, Christmas mm -hmm. Eve. Um, but we also do the, the three wise men, and, you know, we change... It's, it's not like Elf on the Shelf, but it's sort of similar in that, you know, the, well, we have three wooden wise men and then we, um, every night we move them a little bit closer to the nativity set. And um, then the kids like have to find them. And that's, um, How that's terrific. fun for them because we try to make it a little hard or a little bit easy. And we put them like all over the house. And um, so that's something else that we do with our kids. That's, that's fun to look forward to. That's wonderful. Um, oh, yeah. I could see that being something that might be incorporated somehow in the future. <laughs> I've never heard of that idea. Elf yeah. in the shop I have, but that's, that's a beautiful one. But yeah, it's, it's like a, yeah, it's like a, it's like a Catholic um, twist on Elf in the Shelf, but it's, mm -hmm. you know, because the wise men are going to go see Jesus. Um, but I'm also looking forward to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays um, because of all the food, but it's also, and Christmas is food too, but there's, there seem there's a lot of stress with Christmas as well with the presents and all that. And Thanksgiving, because there's no presents, it's, it's just the food. I find it to be a less stressful holiday and a bit more 
And I, I like, I like a day of just giving thanks to God for everything. And, um, my birthday is actually November 28th. So ah. I know to look forward to this season ah. and it, occasionally it does fall on Thanksgiving. So last year, Thanksgiving and my birthday lined up. Oh. So how yeah, wonderful. so yeah, I always celebrate my birthday on Thanksgiving when that happens so that everybody can be thankful for me. Ah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, we it's just so thankful. You know, it's awesome. We are so thankful for you to spend time with uh, with us this holiday on the holiday shop and uh, we thank you. Is there anything else before we sign off that you wanted to let us know about your Christmas sales or or your business? No, I think um, I don't. Yeah, so all my sales for Christmas are already up. I don't have any like Black Friday sales or anything like that. Again, I said I'm a little lazy. So <laughs> so what you see is what you've got. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so all those sales, um, all the Christmas candles will be on sale until the end of the Christmas season, which is candle mist. So I think it's early February. Uh, the chrism will be on sale for the end of the year. I have, because it's the year of St. Joseph, I have all my St. Joseph candles on sale until the end of the year. I know mm -hmm. the year of St. Joseph ends earlier than that, but there's just, I'll just do it till the end of the year. Um, yeah, and just um, constantly, you know, keep visiting my site, you know, every couple of months because the sales do change. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, and that's a good place to, uh, I post my sales there. I post like, oh, you know, it's now spring. Here are all the spring candles that are on sale. And so that's a good, good those are good places to um, keep on top of, of what's on sale now. And uh, yeah, and again, I'm, I'm constantly testing candles and, and putting them up. Um, and so I've got um, got a, a couple new ones um, in the queue, but yeah. Good. I know you're always thinking of the next, yeah. the next candle <laughs> creation. And we're exactly. looking forward to experiencing that. And so we thank you so much for joining us today, Katrina. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. This has been fun. Very, it's wonderful to see you again. So yes. my friends, remember to go to all the sites that I've linked below for the Catholic Candle Company. And until next time, peace and love.